Hi everybody, in this video I want to walk you through parametric constraints and how they can be used to build simple geometry in Fusion 360. A parameter, a parameter, is really a word, a fancy word that means with another measure. Okay, para means with, meter means measure. So what we are going to do is build parts here where one measurement is related to another measurement. And what it's going to do is it's going to help us scale up and scale down objects quickly. So in other words, if I have a pencil and I want to make a bigger version of that pencil, or perhaps I have a Lego piece and I want to scale up that Lego piece and I want to make it exactly the same, but I want to make it 10 times larger than the average, the normal Lego piece. I can do that by just changing one measurement and everything else scales up and scales down with it. Okay, because they're related. Let me give you an example of that. Okay, I'm going to go through and I'm going to just use the box tool and the create menu box tool. And I'm just going to draw a simple box here. I'm not going to put any thought into what the measurements are. There we go. We have a box. All along, those dimensions were being recorded by Fusion 360. I can find them by going to the modify tab and coming down to change parameters. And you'll notice that it brings up a table. And it looks blank, but if you go and you expand the model parameters and you look at the box primitive tool, okay, let me see that. There you go. You'll see that it's been keeping track of D1, D2, and D3, dimension one, dimension two, and dimension three. In fact, if I go through and I change those, change the 1.9 to say a one, you'll see that the box updates. So apparently that D1 was the depth of the box. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to rename that as depth. That's going to be easier for me to keep track of. Let's change D2 and see what happens. What if I make this 10? Okay, all right. So now I can see here that the 10, or maybe the 8, or whatever I make this, must have been the width of the box. And then that probably leaves this to be the height. Let's check. Yes, okay. So this is the height of the box. And I can adjust it within the table, or I can adjust, adjust it in the sketch. But let's go ahead and call that the height. Now here's the beauty of parameters, parametric equations. Right now, I just have dimensions. I could have easily drawn a five by eight rectangle and extruded it upward eight inches. But let's say that I had a situation where I always wanted the box to be twice as wide as it is deep, okay? What if I wanted this eight to always be, if I had five wide or five deep, I wanted it to be 10 wide. What if this is 6? I would want this to be 12. If I had this as 10, I would want this to be 20. I always want it to be twice whatever the depth is. Well, I could go through and I could edit that individually every single time I changed it. Or I could just say 2 times the depth. Because I have added in depth as a name here, it knows that depth is something that it can use in a formula here. Okay. And in fact, if I go and I widen out this table, you'll say, here's the calculated value. When this is 5, this has got to be 2 times that, which is 10. I click OK. No, I'm not going to click OK. I want you to see what happens. Watch how this maintains that ratio, that 2 to 1 ratio, right? If this is 2, still looks like a, a rectangle that's twice as wide as it is deep. Okay? If I type in 8, if I type in 8, let's get to that. Right? Two by one rectangle. So it scales up and scales down automatically. I can even do that with the height. I can do this with two things at once. Let's say it's always going to be half of the depth. And I notice, by the way, that it's red because it does not know what DEPT stands for. It's only when I spell things correctly that this has that this will work. Okay. So now all of a sudden I change one measurement, two, same rectangle. Five, same rectangle, just bigger, same one. Same box, 100, same box, just really stinking big, okay? Parametric equations give me a way to scale up and scale down quickly. And you're seeing the beauty of it here with this part that we just built, a simple box, okay? Parameters table, which is in modify, change parameters. We can rename and we can put in algebraic expressions here that allow us to change measurements quickly. Hopefully that makes sense. In the next video, I'm going to start walking you through the process of creating a very, very basic Lego block.